Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of Something for the Weekend, broadcast to you from uh, Staines in Middlesex. Good old Martin Lynch and Sons. Hope you're all well uh, outside the store, as you can see. Here, uh, there it is. Look, look at all that. He's a bit of a clean, actually. It's looking a bit scruffy. I've uh, got some interesting things to talk about, so let's wander in the store and uh, show you what we've got. So a couple of things I'd like to talk to you about today. Um, Icom 705 uh, amplifier, or the amplifier for the 705, which you've seen me talk about um, over the last month. Been selling very well. Just thought we'd wire one up and actually show it uh, producing lots of power from the drive source of the 705. Um, a small dummy load and the uh, BHI NES 102 Mark IV uh, from my mate Graham in Sussex, who's uh, been producing um, excellent noise reduction uh, speakers and accessories for many, many years. Right, before we get on with some of the products, I just thought I'd like to go through some of the suggestions that um, many of you made uh, with what we call our Saturday broadcast. As you know, we're not just doing something for the weekend. Every Friday, we are also uh, live streaming each Saturday from the store. Uh, and some of the suggestions that were made were uh, Saturday Showcase, there's one, I mean a Saturday Showcase, Saturday Soiree, or Soiree, terrible David, that's bad, um, and on YouTube we had um, Spend on Saturdays, or SOS, <laughs> which I thought was rather amusing, Saturday Superstore, the Weekly Flogard, Saturday Ham Live, quite like that one, uh, the Lynch Mobs Saturday Broadcast, uh, keeping you informed uh, and various others but I think the one we're going to go with actually is um, Martin Lynch and Sons weekend webcast so a uh, thank you to uh, David G3ZPF my old chum up there thank you for your many suggestions actually but quite a few through so that's what we're going to go with so from now on uh, the um, broadcast from tomorrow is called Martin Lynch and Sons weekend webcast so whilst we've got that out of the way, uh, first thing I want to show you is the IC705 hooked up to the uh, XPA125B, uh, the um, up to 100 watt linear amplifier for the um, uh, IC705 and indeed FT818 or any other QRP 1 to 5 watt uh, radio you've got. Um, so we've hooked this up quite simply with a uh, patch cable uh, to drive it. Um, Got the unit set to about four watts output from the uh, IC705. And uh, the display here clearly shows the power driven, the power output, the SWR, um, and whether it's ready to work. So we've, we've already tuned the uh, antenna tuner within the amplifier. And as you can see, driving the amplifier with just over four and a half watts, we've got just about 85 watts output. So from your little IC705 with a box that's probably about three times the length of the radio and the same width is producing 85 watts. It varies, it's between about 80 and 100, just over 100 on certain bands. Uh, and that's between top band and six meters. So they're available from stock 469.95, including that. Uh, and um, they seem to be very, very good and reliable. And certainly at that price, you can compare that to the Ellicraft version of course um, and this has got the tuner built in and ready to go so XPA 125B available from stock um, and we do supply uh, as an optional accessory the lead the PTT lead so when you get it out of the box you can just plug in the 705 into the back of the amplifier and you're off and uh, I actually had that on permanent transmit and I didn't um, yeah it's this fill out no, it's not even mildly warm. Right, okay, next up, um, if you're looking for decent Carex cable jumpers, as Messi and Polini call it, we've had the factory actually manufacture um, cable assemblies with PL259 plugs, the M&P plugs mounted on the end. So if you're not uh, bothered about making your own cables, 
you can buy these 10 litres of Ultraflex 10 with the plugs ready mounted. They're on our website. Uh, just look under M&P and you'll see those listed. That's a, a good recent option accessory that they've made for us. Um, another product, quick little product, um, DC to one gig, uh, 100 watt dummy load. Now these are really heavy little devices, as you can see. They're available from stock, um, PIL259, plug mounted on the end, 49.95. So if you want a good match dummy load, they're available. Uh, just, just search for dummy load on our website and you'll see that. It's got a ridiculous model number. Um, 0014-0156, but I'm sure it will come up on the uh, screen as I'm talking to you. Um, looking for an ideal Christmas present to buy somebody, i.e. yourself, don't forget the um, NES 10 2 Mark IV. This is the latest iteration from um, BHI. Um, even if you've got noise reduction capabilities in your current transceiver, you stick one of these in line uh, and you'll get rid of even more noise. Um, Graham at BHI doesn't just manufacture products for radio hams, a lot of his output goes to commercial use. Um, that's the latest one, available from stock and the price um, is just popped up on the display. Earlier this week I went to uh, the RSGB National Radio um, Centre at Bletchley Park in Milton Keynes to drop off a PS60 a power supply kindly donated by JBC Kenwood and ourselves and we presented it to Martin Baker who gladly uh, took delivery of it and there's a little intro video of me standing in the car park a picture of uh, Martin uh, proudly grabbing his brand new PS64 the um, radio shack there and I do a quick pan around of the um, operating room. Good luck to the National Radio uh, Centre at uh, Bletchley Park um, last year alone had uh, nearly 100,000 visitors through it, so uh, and do listen out for them, of course, on, on air. Uh, the station's still operated at least two or three times a week. Right, so over to me, standing in the car park, and you'll see what, what happened. So here we are at the uh, National Radio Centre at, uh, in Bletchley, uh, meeting up with one of the RSGB uh, guys uh, to give them a brand new power supply that's been very kindly PS60, kindly donated by a JBC Kenwood UK and ourselves MLNS. So just waiting for Martin uh, Baker to pop along and collect the uh, item and uh, let's see if we can actually go inside the centre uh, and um, have a look at their shack. I haven't been there for quite a while. So there it is. Let's, uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so that's about it from me for this week. Um, obviously the used equipment and other bits will be um, put over to you by Jonathan and his team tomorrow at the MLNS weekend, 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 weekend webcast. So don't forget to tune in. Um, please subscribe and also press the uh, bell icon. That way you will be notified when the webcast goes out because it goes out at varying times within the day. Basically, when the phones stop ringing and customers stop coming in, that's when uh, they quickly jump in and do the webcast. Um, mail order is still going full tilt. If you do need anything for a Christmas period or before Christmas, please order now. So we've just had huge stock deliveries from uh, M&P, Yezu, Acom delivered. Uh, the Acom amplifiers, um, I'm afraid they barely touched the sides, they all came in and went out. Uh, we have got one Acom 2000A left in stock, 
We also have a couple of Acom 1200S's, that's a solid state amplifier available from stock, um, very fortunately. So if you're looking for a good solid state amp, the 1200S is definitely worth considering. All of that um, today and you'll get it a few days afterwards. Um, that's it for now, uh, over to Jonathan for the weekend webcast and uh, stay safe and look forward to seeing you soon. All the best.